My name is Rowan Gillespie and the sculpture I'm talking about here is the Black Rock Dolmen on the Black Rock Bypass uh, just outside Dublin. Black Rock, nobody quite knows where the name came from. Uh, nobody knows where the Black Rock is. So I thought, well, this would be a fine time to produce the Black Rock. Um, and combine that with the earliest known form of sculpture, which is a dolmen. Um, so the three figures replacing the three vertical rocks and then a rock above. That gave me the basic material for what I wanted. Um, the making of the sculpture was really divided into um, two main sections, the making of the rock and then afterwards the making of the figures, which were all done individually. The main uh, challenge with the sculpture from the original maquette I did was actually how to have the, how to have the weight of the rock being held by these uh, three spindly, spindly figures. Um, well, the answer was to do what we call a composite rock, which is, in effect, it's fiberglass. I was already fairly experienced with working with bronze, but actually didn't have that much fiberglass experience. So at the end of the day, when I was washing my hands down with petrol to get the resin off, uh, there was a little accident with somebody lighting a cigarette nearby, which finished up by the whole of me catching fire. No t-shirt left on me at all as I was rushed off to Lachlanstown Hospital for a two-week stay. But I can never look at that sculpture without thinking of my burns and my hospital stay. I think the whole sculpture was completed in about eight weeks. That would, wouldn't just be the modelling time, that was with all of the bronze casting, all of the rock making, everything done by me uh, single-handed, which is actually incredibly fast going for, I suppose there's one tonne of bronze in it. So for one man to pour, to model, model the sculpture and pour the bronze in eight weeks is, is when I look back on it, it was pretty good going.